Hi, this is the 50-50 show. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do uh, choose IB subjects. And this is an extension of the popular Learn Chinese in 5 Minutes show. I'm Jess. I'm Eric. I'm Nicholas. IB is definitely more rigorous than GCSE and Advanced Diploma. First, in comparison with GCSE, IB requires students to do six subjects in comparison with seven in GCSE. However, these six subjects are then studied with much more depth than GCSE standards, along with a lot of internal assessments throughout the course of study. In contrast with advanced diploma, IB provides a much more balanced mix of subjects, as IB aims to develop well-rounded students. While well, advanced diploma is centered around a particular area of study, like business, fashion and clothing, or sport development. Um, you will have to take three subjects in higher level and three at standard. There are six groups of subjects. Group 1 is language A1. The language chosen is usually the student's native language. For group 2, it is the second language, an additional language. You can either continue on doing the language you did in your GCSEs or do an ab initio, a language you haven't done before, which can be only at standard level. Group 3 is Humanities and Social Sciences, which is offered at SLMHL. This includes subjects such as Business Studies, Economics, History, Philosophy, Psychology, etc. For Group 4, the Experimental Sciences is also offered at SLMHL including chemistry, biology, physics, and design technology. There is one course that is only offered at SL, Environmental Systems and Societies. Group 5 is Mathematics. There are three different levels. For those who find it extremely difficult, you can do it at Mathematics Studies level. In addition, there is also Mathematics SL and HL. For group 6, it is the art, offered at SL and HL, which includes subjects such as drama, music, art, and film. If you don't want to take group 6, you can always choose an additional course from groups 1 to 4. IB is all about risk taking and critical thinking. Although IB is one of the toughest and most vigorous diplomas you can get today, most universities love it and therefore IB is most of the worldwide universities' number one choice, apart from their local diplomas. Yes, you do get a life outside of IB. In fact, uh, most of us actually have a lot of free time. What we need is better time management. When you have a coursework or IA due next week, you better start, on, start working on it now. If you have homework due tomorrow, well, it shouldn't be due tomorrow because you should have done it earlier. Um, but there's also CAS. Now, CAS takes up a lot of your free time. But if you do it periodically um, and regularly, then you have enough time for your, you have enough of your own time 